and I am back with another unboxing video. This is again the Alienware uh, laptop, Alienware 17 R4, and this is round two. After I have sent the old one, I received a new one today, and this is not actually a replacement unit. I will show you the specifications and I will unbox it again and let's see how this one fared hopefully better than the first one and here is a comparison of the specifications of the one that I returned and the one that I got I returned this one because it had a bad speaker as I have shown in a previous video and these are the specs so it's no longer the same machine I asked for a replacement they couldn't do it I repurchased it so they refunded me the original one I repurchased it for the same price but then I waited too long and one day I got pissed during gaming and I said well I'm no longer gonna get it and the reason being um, it was a bit overkill in a couple of things uh, so it had 32 gigabytes of memory which I said was too much GTX 1080 which I also realized it's a bit too much since I don't even have any game that will tax it and uh, the resolution was more than full high definition and it had G-Sync which was again like too much for me I'm not a heavy gamer like this I do game but I don't have any uh, big game and now I pretty much downgraded several things except the first one now the CPU is the upgraded from Skylake to Cable Lake one uh, however, I have less memory, which is actually fine because, again, I don't think I would ever need 32 gigabytes of memory. Uh, one sad thing is I have a much smaller SSD. Now there's a shortage of solid state drives, the a NAND type of uh, storage. Therefore, it affects many things. And uh, so, yeah, I have the primary memory smaller GTX 1070, which should be sufficient for me, and full high definition IPS. Which is sufficient for me and maybe a plus it should come with optimus because it does not have g-sync those two things do not happen at the same time so uh i'm now going to unbox it in a moment and we'll see how this one fares all right i'm back now and let's proceed with this unboxing let me put this camera here and let me cut this thing hopefully i'll cut it myself Now this part. This machine now with this specs over here cost around two thousand dollars. The previously GTX ten eighty version was around three thousand dollars, so it's slightly cheaper. And this one. All right. Uh, let's get the scissors out of the way. And it's the same box as the previous one. In order to open it, I need to push this. I think. Uh, okay, I'm holding it the other way around. It should be this way. Again, I need to push this. Alright. Now I can basically lift it like this. And, well, now, Alienware round two. Let's see if it is any lighter than the previous one. The previous one was quite heavy. There's somebody's fingerprint over there. Person who loaded had. Yes, this is lighter. Okay, the GTX 1080 version kind of felt a bit. Um, kind of felt a bit uh, heavier than this. This is lighter. The same box here, which basically tells me uh, how to use the machine. Thank you for purchasing it. And warranty. 
The previous one, I don't know. I don't recall having a warranty card with the previous one, and this one has it. Yeah, I don't recall this card before. I only recall this one in that package. In the GTX 1080 version, does it mean they don't have warranty? <laughs> No. And yes, the power brake. This was the other thing that I was very, very concerned about. The power brake of the GTX 1080 version was huge. Check my previous video. It was like twice the thickness. Thickness. Um, not thickness. Uh, the size, however, is pretty much unchanged. And in fact, the design is a bit different. So there's no light here. There's no light at all. I don't see any light. Here, the GTX 1080 version had light. This one doesn't. So, um, hopefully, this is not a important thing. I don't see any light here. Now let's turn it on and see if something will light up someplace. I don't believe there's any light. And oh yeah, let's start around. Let's go to the, this. I like this area, even though it's kitchen area, because um, the other my table is occupied by my other computer. So this looks like it's as if it's thinner. I don't think it should be because the size of the GTX 7, 1070, GTX 1080, those versions should be the same. Somehow it got it felt like lighter, but the size should definitely be the same. Um, let's. Powered up, shall we? So yeah, regarding the reduction in the in the primary, uh, and this thing, this thing is smaller too. Like the 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 other cable was thicker, and this thing I think you called the prong. This prong was larger. So this cable, this, and the adapter, they all shrunk. I mean. The adapter is obvious, it should be, because the GTX 1070 requires uh, 240 watts adapter versus the GTX 1080 requires 300 and 330 watts. Okay, I don't recall this light before. Maybe it's me, maybe I just don't remember that. But... I don't know if this, this light was all over there before. Um, so can I lift it with one hand? Almost. Let's try it again. Uh, let's try it again. So lifting it one hand. Yes, I can lift it with one hand. And uh, let's turn it on. All right, this should, this thing, should be here, like on top of it. I think this is this is just a misplacement. Um, yeah, let's turn it on and see if I notice anything else. Let's get this thing out of the way. It's powering up. So this is still the SSD, even though it's a smaller one, so it should work. Oh! I swear this button was larger. Okay, something is going on here. I swear this button was like larger for the GTX 10. Is this with the Toby eye tracking? Well, let's see about that. Well, I'll go through the, these things, and I don't, I don't want you to just... Uh, hang out for the entire duration of this and uh, yeah I'll turn this off and then I will log into Windows and let's see if I'm dreaming or not